Guys, on the menu, onion, garlic, barley, seasoning, and steak. And here's my little kitchen. Okay, that's how I usually set this up. You know, you make some sort of a tripod on some sticks. And then uh, I have those little hooks made here. Right? That hangs into, whoop, into that piece. And that can go into that carabiner. And now I have those little knots on the side here. And uh, ideally you pick a branch which has like a little thing there. So now you can adjust the height of your pot, right? Huh? Nifty, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, see here. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to really watch what you look for. So what I did is, uh, you know, you take one of those Y branches, a big one, you put it upside down, you cut it underneath the, where it branches off, cut a groove in it, right? And you need to have one with like actually three branches, right? See that? Okay. One, two, three, all on one piece. And then you need just one. There's another Y branch underneath and you hook them together and that thing stands. No tying, no knots. So this works well. And uh, after you're done with cooking, you burn them. Okay? Unless you want to cook the next day. Okay. Uh, I think I go foraging a little bit. I seen some burdock. Maybe I can dig it out and get some, uh, some veggies here as my food. And uh, ah. let's see what we find. Such a nice spot here. I love it. Yeah, I did a really good tick check. Man, like you shouldn't. I shouldn't have any actually. So I didn't have any. But uh, you know, it's all treated with permethrin. The clothing. So they usually crawl up and they make it like yay far and then they fall off dead. But you never know, there was so many ticks, like oh my god. I walked through the grass here, like in between the trees. And like, I had like 10 or so on one leg. <laughs> like, so, yeah, but here, here's none. I haven't seen one uh, the last three hours. So, I think I'm good. I uh, actually like to cross somehow and I get on the other side of those grassy hills and then uh, you know, check out if I see the buffalo. It would be, would be great, actually. Hey guys, there's my fire making material. Here we have dry grass. Then we have small sticks. Some bigger sticks, some bigger sticks. Then uh, feather sticks. Some bigger chunks. So um, the plan is to put a spark on the chaga fungus. Then turn this into a coal make this stuff here ignite 
and then you know throw that stuff on there and then ignite that stuff so will take a while I will set the camera up so that you can see it I hope uh, yeah just give me a few minutes and we see what happens because the ground is damp so I need to protect my fire a little bit and that shall do okay let's see if we can get that ignited so when you're making a fire it is really uh, it's difficult guys it's difficult so oops, see that what happens Okay, the spark hit it. And now if you can see that, there's a dark spot and it's smoking. That's the first step. Need to make that a little bigger. Pretty good. The fungus itself doesn't ignite in a flame. So now we need to put it in this nest here. Like so. And we leave that thing in there a little bit. It's still a little damp, it rained for five days. So, it's all work. There we have flame. Now the critical point is like keeping it going.
Yeah, so that's how you make a fire. Right. And always some sparks. And an eye. And some chaga, of course. So I have three chagas left. I can make myself a tea. Okay. So that's it. For the how to make fire video. <laughs>